Hi, Internet friends. This is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you today's Tech Tip Tuesday. On today's tip, we're going to talk about manipulating trusses and working with Chief Architect Premier X15. Let's get started. In X15, we now are able to do automatic truss framing. And so that's what I did here. It created this uh, trusses, but for some reason on this side, it created a rafter tail that's stick framed. And I'm not sure why it's doing that, but I wanted to walk you through what I did here to, uh, to correct that. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to right click on the stick frame and delete that. And then I'll right click on the truss itself. And notice I'm right clicking because right now I'm in the um, back clipped back clipped camera elevation tool. Uh, so if I left click, it wouldn't do anything. So if I right click, I'm selecting that truss. When I bring it out to the edge and open the truss detail, You'll notice that truss detail does not include the um, soffit overhang for some reason. And I'm not sure I understand what's going on with that. So I'm going to go back to plan view and now I'll do a back clipped cross section right just right through the truss itself. And I'm going to switch to my framing one half inch set here. I've got a different layer set showing the framing so I can just quickly switch to that without having to turn on all the framing layers and you can see what's going on with this truss. Now trusses are fantastic in that they will regenerate their shape and we can just edit that uh, envelope. Now the envelope currently uh, it it's acts a lot like a polyline and you can see what it's doing on this side. So I'm just going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to hit the number three key and break it right here at the top of my double plate and drag this up like so. And there is my envelope. Now you can see that vertical piece here. And I could just make this the um, depth of the soffit if I wanted to go that far. But I'm going to uh, select this and control D on my Windows uh, PC. It'd be command D on a Mac and make that parallel to the roof surface. And then I'm going to drag it right up to the roof surface. So it creates that top cord flying out over here. We've got the um, vertical members stopping at the plate, at the plate. And there is our truss detail. So when I click on the truss and now go into the truss detail, I have something that I can dimension and, and share for construction docs. Once again, I could go back and um, copy these. Let's say I select these and delete. Let's delete that truss. Let's delete these trusses and just copy offset 16 inches whoops 16 for the trusses there we go and we're all set now with our trusses so once again i just drag that out to the um, subfascia raft subfascia board i went into my cross section and edit that envelope just like a polyline of the truss, and it will take that shape. I could manually um, edit to include the soffits or not include the soffits. Oh, that's why it's doing it. For some reason, that doesn't have... Oh, that soffit is uh, a different setup than this one over here on that roof plane. So that's that might be why that's doing that uh, with the automatic. Alternatively, you can change this in the truss detail. 
I want to add this overhang for my soffit here, uh, nine and three quarters inches, or let's go 10 inches. So I'm going to draw a construction line here, and drag this over 10 inches. As I'm dragging, I just hit my tab key and do my X position in 10 inches. So that would pull this over here a little bit. And I'm going to pull this over here a little bit. Take, now you can update this polyline from here. Uh, let's just do that. That didn't, okay, that didn't update that. So let's see if I can select, there we go, select my um, top cord and just drag this over 10 inches. And there is that information. For some reason, it doesn't like snapping to the end of this. So um, I'm going to make that uh, three and a half and slide this over here. Yeah, yeah. See, so you can you can update. I don't know why it doesn't like the end point of these truss tails, but I'm just going to draw a line there. There's my 10 inches. So a couple different ways you can edit trusses. Manually edit the actual members or uh, in the, in the uh, elevation in the section, you can edit the uh, polyline that, that updates that truss shape. So this video is going longer than I imagined. I have also this scenario where I want the majority of these trusses here to um, bear on this exterior wall and kind of cantilever, if you will, over this covered porch. So I'm going to do a quick back clipped cross section again. I like the back clipped because I can then isolate just one uh, one framing member, one truss here. I'm going to select this truss again and I get the uh, polyline shape. I'm going to break it right here at the top plate. That gets my webbing to stop or, or uh, pinpoint that, that location. And I want this to show a vertical member of this uh, truss right here. So what I'm going to do is draw a line straight up from the exterior edge of this wall plate. Go back and select my truss here and I'm going to click break that right there. That didn't do it so I'm going to break a couple more times up here and let's see if I can do something like this. Oh, looky, looky, looky. Um, I get the vertical member, but it, the top cord doesn't continue. That's interesting. Okay, so if I bring this, I happen to know what I need to do. I'm going to take this uh, horizontal edge, if you will, down away from this intersection and bring this vertical right there. So I get the webbing and this heel, but that top cord doesn't work. So I'm just going to then open the detail, truss detail, and manually adjust that member over to there. There's my, I can't, I can't change these members, but there's my, there's my truss with my vertical member um, I can delete this member and just make this continuous all the way out, like so. There's another um, method, of, uh, kind of an advanced way of getting a, a, uh, a unique situation with your trusses. All right, hope that's helpful. Thanks for following along. Click like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Take care.